Welcome to the segment on nutrition for a healthy heart. Here, you'll learn how a healthy diet can help your heart, find out the building blocks of healthy nutrition, and get some tips from people who've changed their eating patterns for the better. Of course, healthy eating is important for everyone. But if you have heart disease, it can make a big difference in the length and quality of your life. A healthy diet can help control some of the major heart disease risk factors, help your heart medications work better, improve your digestion, and give you more energy and better sleep. And of course, all of these lead to a healthier heart. What does healthy nutrition look like? There's so much diet advice out there, it can get confusing. We'll try to make it simple. Let's talk about six basic building blocks and use this dinner to break it down. You can see that about half the plate is covered with fruits and vegetables, and that's a good guideline. Building block number one, fruits and vegetables. Eat lots of them. A fourth of this dinner is rice pilaf. Grains and starches should be about a quarter of your diet but notice that it's made with brown rice. So, block number two, eat more whole grains. We'll talk about what whole grains are in a minute. On the side, there's a salad dressing made with olive oil. Block number three, choose unsaturated fats and oils. The salmon here also covers a fourth of the plate. Block number four, choose heart healthy proteins. You see the milk? It's skim, and that's block number five. Choose low-fat dairy products or dairy alternatives. The last building block is something not here, the salt shaker. Building block number six, avoid too much salt and also limit sugar and alcohol. Let's talk about each building block, starting with number one, eat lots of fruits and vegetables. Of course, this isn't news, but what do we mean by lots? Here are some targets to aim for. Eat three to five servings of fruit each day. That's about one and a half to two cups total. And eat three to five servings of vegetables every day. That's about two to three cups total. That may seem like a lot, but the servings can add up quickly. Let's say you have a banana at breakfast, a small glass of apple juice with lunch, and an orange for a snack. That makes four servings of fruit. You might have a small glass of tomato juice with breakfast, a salad with lunch, and some cooked vegetables with dinner. That's four servings of vegetables. The second building block is grains. To improve your heart health, choose whole grains and unprocessed starches instead of refined starches. What's the difference? Let's look at them side by side. On the left side are refined starches, white bread, pasta, white rice. They're made by processing grains until only the center of the grain remains. But that means that they're missing something important. On the right are whole grain foods that include all parts of the grain kernel and unprocessed starches like beans and vegetables. Whole grains and unprocessed starches give you more fiber, vitamins, and minerals. They also have complex carbohydrates for longer lasting energy that is less likely to elevate your blood sugar levels. You should aim for five to eight servings of grain a day. Try to make at least three to four of those servings whole grain. There are lots of easy ways to do this, like using whole wheat bread for toast or sandwiches, or try brown rice and whole wheat pasta instead of the white versions. If you want whole grains, be careful as you read labels. Look for the word whole in the ingredients list. Words like healthy and light on the package might just be a marketing ploy. Building block number three is this. Choose unsaturated fats and oils. Of course, you should avoid using too much fat, but some types of fats are heart healthy. Eating foods high in unsaturated fat, especially in place of foods with a lot of saturated fat, can help lower your risk of heart disease. What is unsaturated fat? Here's one easy test. It's liquid at room temperature. For cooking, choose olive oil, canola oil, peanut oil, and vegetable oils, such as safflower, sunflower, corn, and sesame oils. Good food sources include olives, avocados, nuts, salmon, and tuna. 
You should limit the amount of saturated fat in your diet. Here are some foods you should eat in moderation. Meats such as high fat beef, pork, and poultry. High fat dairy products such as butter, cream cheese, sour cream, and ice cream, and tropical oils such as coconut, palm, and palm kernel oil. Check the labels of snack foods to see if they contain these oils. You should avoid trans fats, which are especially unhealthy for your heart. The good news is that the amount of trans fat is listed separately on every nutrition label, so it's easy to check. Here are some likely culprits, some margarines and brands of vegetable shortening, some packaged snack foods and bakery items such as donuts and pastries, microwave and theater popcorn, and fried foods such as french fries and chicken nuggets. The fourth building block is heart healthy proteins, which help repair body tissues and build muscle, including your heart muscle. Heart healthy animal proteins include fish and shellfish, skinless white meat poultry such as chicken and turkey, and egg whites, which have all the benefits of eggs but without the cholesterol. If you eat whole eggs, limit them to fewer than four per week, but eat egg whites and egg substitutes as much as you like. How much heart healthy protein should you have in a day? About two to three servings. A serving is usually about the size of a deck of cards and weighs about five ounces. Of course, plants also have heart healthy protein. Some good sources include beans, soy and soy products, nuts and nut butters, and seeds like sesame seeds, pumpkin seeds, and sunflower seeds. You might have noticed we didn't even mention beef or pork yet. Why? because they're usually high in saturated fat and cholesterol. Eat them less often, no more than two to three servings per week. Building block five is low fat dairy products or dairy alternatives. Dairy products give you calcium, protein, and vitamins A and D. You should aim for about three servings of dairy a day. A serving is a cup of milk or yogurt, an ounce of cheese, or a half cup of cottage cheese. The important thing is choosing low-fat or fat-free dairy. If you're not used to low-fat, give yourself some time. After a while, most people come to enjoy it as much as the higher-fat versions. Another hint, watch out for non-dairy whipped toppings and coffee creamers. They often contain a lot of saturated fat. It's better to use the fat-free versions. Even though ice cream is also a source of calcium, you'll notice it wasn't listed in Building Block 5. That's because it's part of Building Block 6, putting limits on salt, sugar, and alcohol. Of course, we all need a treat now and then, and that's what these should be, treats rather than daily fare. Limit sugar-sweetened desserts, soft drinks, and snacks. My wife is very motivated to help me with good eating and um, buying healthier foods and eating more fish, uh, fewer snacks. I like pastries with coffee and I used to have them regularly. Now I, once a week on Sunday is my special day and I give myself that treat and that's nice and it's okay. And, um, and a few other things I will, but I just, much more moderation. I don't do it like every day. It, it's a, a special thing. Cutting back on salt is also important. Did you know that most Americans have three times more salt than experts recommend? Cutting back on salt means a lighter workload for your heart. And if you drink alcohol, do so in moderation. For women, this means one drink a day. For men, the limit is one to two drinks a day. I don't know that I'm perfect in and, and always following the healthy, uh, what are they, the pyramid? Is that what they call it, the food pyramid? But I really try to uh, eat as healthily as I can, try to control my weight. and. Uh, but I think it takes a commitment. This is the end of the segment on heart healthy nutrition. Let's look at this healthy dinner again. If you work on the six building blocks, your heart will thank you, and you may discover some new tastes you really enjoy.